When is the solid state battery coming? We currently have a 100 kilowatt battery and a 50 kilowatt hour battery coming very soon. That's right guys, we got an update on the up and coming 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and also an update to the 150 kilowatt hour solid state battery pack, semi solid state battery pack. And also please watch to the end of this video because I have another clip of the CEO talking more in depth about what's going on with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack and please smash that like button. So. First of all, the most mind-blowing news is the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is essentially Neo's way of doing a price cut without hurting existing Neo owners. Now, what I what, what do I mean by that? And by the way, Neo CEO said it's coming very very soon, so we can expect that to be launched within the next couple of months. So, how is this going to impact everything? Well, first we got to understand Neo's pricing right now. Here is the price of NEO's ET5 here in China. If you want US dollars, just divide it by about 7.2. So we can tell that with the battery, especially with the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, it gets substantially more expensive. But if you buy the car without the battery, you see it's at 228,000. And the only thing that's different is the monthly fee. So uh, right now, the BAS policy is very nice, so people are choosing to buy the car without the battery. But nonetheless, the price of the car with the battery is still quite expensive. The cheapest is 298000 So the starting price is actually 298000 RMB. Now, what will the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack look like? Here is what it could hypothetically look like. Uh, the starting price with the battery will definitely be a hundred percent lower so maybe about 40,000 RMB lower so starting at 258,000 potentially all right of course the price without the battery remains unchanged and if you go with bass for that you can expect to pay a much lower monthly fee so this is the game changing part you got the starting price now much much lower at 258,000 RMB and of course with Neo, you're not stuck with the battery pack that you choose So you choose the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack if you, you're going long range You can upgrade to the 75 or the 100 Temporarily for a day or two days. I have a video where I upgraded from the 75 to the 100 For about four days. This is like the beauty of Neo, and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money So it really makes sense for people to be buying the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack as their purchase and then if they need to you know do long distance they can rent the higher capacity battery for a short duration of time and that just makes the car a lot more affordable at the same time you're not hurting the interest of existing new owners existing new owners might say hey how come you made the price of the car cheaper no, 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 no. The price of the car with your same battery capacity is still unchanged. It's a new battery pack with lower range that's cheaper. It's only the battery that's cheaper, all right, for a lower range battery. So this is actually a very good win-win scenario. And in, t in terms of how they're going to price it, if they really go aggressive and price the super low, maybe even lower than 258000 man, that's going to really, really, really boost sales. Even at this price point, starting price of 258000 for the car, that's going to really help out with sales. People are just going to be choosing this battery pack. Because right now, with a flexible battery upgrade, nobody's choosing the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. People are buying the car with the 75 and only renting the 100 when they need it. So with this new battery pack 50, people are going to be buying the 50 and then renting the 75 or renting the 100 or renting the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack when they need it. So this is going to be quite incredible. And of course, people can upgrade permanently if they want to the higher capacity battery pack. So it goes without saying, lowering the entry price for the vehicle really does help with sales. So you can also expect an increase in sales from this as well. Now, what is going on with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack? The CEO has already tested it. Well, here is the whole thing about the 150 semi-solid state battery pack. Neo is apparently 
trying to lower the cost down. And the cost is quite high because of the fact that the yield, right, the amount of battery cells that passes quality control tests uh, isn't to their liking. Okay, I would be careful to say that the yield is bad. No, the yield probably isn't bad. The yield's good and it's improving according to the CEO, but it's not to uh, the point where they want it to be. So that means they still need a bit of time to find polish things. Now, the other really mind-blowing thing is that this 150 kilowatt hour battery pack is only going to be available for rent. It's not going to be available for purchase. First, because the production is going to be significantly low and also because of the pricing for the battery will be very difficult to price so it's going to be rental if you need it you rent it if you don't need it just drive your 75 or 100 or 50 uh, for your daily commute so this really just makes it a lot more reasonable and it does make sense to rent this battery because you wouldn't really need a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack every single day so why don't we listen to what the CEO has to say about all this here? Let's turn it over to the CEO. For the 150, in fact, we did a long test last year and we've been checking it all the time. 150, well, it is indeed too advanced. We are particularly strict on the implementation of this quality standard. So its yield rate has always been low. So we have to control the yield rate of each cell. So you have so many battery cells in a car, so many batteries in a pack multiply it and the yield rate of the whole package is a bit low so if the yield rate is low the problem it brings is that the cost will be particularly high so we are still improving the yield rate just making this yield rate a little higher and the cost will be reduced for example if we think a battery or battery cell is not qualified these cells will actually be scrapped the problem is that there is no way to use it anymore it's not like anything else. If you don't suggest repairing it, it will be scrapped. So its yield rate is closely related to cost. We are still increasing this yield rate, which has already improved a lot. So for the 150 kWh battery, we can definitely only rent them. We can't sell them. Because as soon as you sell it, you will face a question of how much money to set it at. If you set it high, everyone will think we're a profiteer. If you set it low, you will lose money and not lose too much. So we will still use the rental method. One of the benefits of the rental method is that they don't really need to drive with the 150 every day and they only use it once in a while. Second, I have less output when I start. Then if I rent it like this, there will be a more people using it, which means it can be used by more users. The third one, the price will also shrink a little. Even if I lose some money, it will be okay. So that's for the 150 kWh semi-solid state battery. 